Hello again, everybody. Back here at UCLA. Look at my dorm. Yeah. Woo. Okay. I was gonna post another vlog, but then Avi ruined it because he was being an Avi. Yeah. Right, Avi. Being an Avi. What would you like to say about your second quarter here at UCLA? Um, I have a paper Any... due on the second day, so not starting off that great. Which is tomorrow. Which is tomorrow. four page report. Yeah. All right. Good luck. All right. Thanks. See ya. Anywho. Let's see. Oh yeah, so I got here yesterday around like 9 o'clock. Mom and Uncle John dropped me off. And then, uh, what did I do? Oh, me and Avi made a puzzle. We did 100 pieces. It's actually Jennifer's gift from Avi and we did it in our dorm. And we did it in like 45 minutes, but then Jennifer did it after us. And he, she, did it like, she did it in like 10 minutes. Because she's just a beast at puzzles because she started when she was 5. Yeah, she's really good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, classes today, they were really good, um, I had Cam, 20B, um, with center, and he seems really hard, he doesn't curve the class, so an A would be a 95 plus, and then an A minus is a 90 plus, an A plus is 99 and above, so there's no curving like the best 25% of the class get an A, it's like he has the standards of if you get this percentage, this will make you get this certain grade. So, yeah, that's that. Um, I had my Fiat Lux. I had judge, Don't Judge a Book by its Cover. And basically, it talks about social perceptions, um, visual perceptions. So, like, when you see... Um, when we interact with people, we see these certain visual cues which trigger emotions, um, feelings um and stereotypes you know so you form these uh these stigmas about these people like first impressions you know and yeah it's really interesting um we're gonna be talking about you know physical appearance how that relates to how we judge people and um yeah it's really cool it's a 20 there's 20 people in the class and it's it's nice sized, nice sized for a change. My Japanese class, Japanese Civilization, it was awesome. Um, she's an awesome professor. She, She's Korean, so I don't know, and she has a very thick accent, so I don't know what she's saying half the time. And she is one funny woman. I don't think she's doing it on purpose. I think it's just her accent playing in, which makes her like super uber funny. And I actually written down I wrote down some quotes by her. Let me get out of my bed. Um, okay, so this is what she said. Okay, she says, I was just laughing during class with Jennifer. Jennifer's in my class. What's up, Jennifer? Um, okay, so she was explaining, like, the rules of the class, you know, ethics and conduct. Um, and she was like, please don't play a video game. That was hilarious. Uh, she was like, oh, in her office hours, she's like, even if you don't need help on Japanese civilization, you have relationship. If you have relationship and career problem, I'll be there for you. So come to her office hours if you have relationship problems or just problems in general. She'll be more than gladly to help you out. She'll be more than glad to help you out. Um, she was oh so since the class is Japanese civilization, her two questions were for the. Throughout the whole quarter, it's going to be, what is Japan? Like, come on now, what is Japan? And what is civilization? So, in this, in answering what is Japan, she she has um, lectures in uh, PowerPoint. She organizes it in PowerPoints. And one of the bullets said, Japan is between the Asian continent and the Pacific Ocean. Japan isn't between those things. First of all, you can't be between something and the Pacific Ocean. Japan is surrounded by the Pacific Ocean. Japan is on the Pacific Ocean, but it's not between the Asian continent and the Pacific Ocean, right? It just doesn't make sense. And Japan is a part of the Asian continent, not between it and the Pacific Ocean. I, I just thought it was hilarious. Um, then, yeah. And then me, Avi, and Sarah, we went to Westwood. We first went to Target. I bought myself Cliff Bars. Yes, Gerald, I know, I know, Cliff Bars, I know, I know. 
And I bought this Kashi banana chocolate chip. You know, it's trying to stay healthy even though it tastes like a dry mother effer. It doesn't taste that great. Avi gave me a banana. That didn't have to do with Target at all, but whatever. My desk is already a mess. Do you see this? It's already a mess. And this is already a 5 minute and 16 second vlog. Oh my gosh. Um, so I should just start talk, stop talking right now. And then after that, we went to get, you know, Sarah and Avi's course readers for their chem classes. And then we went to Whole Foods. And then we went to Trader Joe's just because Avi got pumpkin cheesecake. But that was from Target, I think. I think that was from Target. Oh, shoot. What did I do? Oh, I just hit one of his plates. And then, yeah. And then I got invited for the to the band frat by Lauren and Brad. They're in my section, and I'll show you guys the invitation. It's actually a band frat and a band sorority. I can't find stuff because my desk is very messy. Let's see. Kappa Kappa Psi. Official invitation. Directions on how to be in it in the back. And so with the sorority one. So that's cool. I'm actually thinking about doing it. I am actually contemplating, but I am not sure yet. I'll see how it goes. So yeah, that was basically the first day back for UCLA. First day of the second quarter. So stoked. Actually, I'm not so stoked for the first day. I mean, that just doesn't make sense. Grammatical error. My bad. But yeah. So, that's it. Um, I'll see you guys later. UCLA laters.